opportunities than me in Japan. But understand more our opportunities in TESOL outside Japan. Okay, yeah, because we are linked with, of course, uh, different countries' needs in TESOL, so we know the salaries, okay, and the qualifications that Thailand, Vietnam, Cambodia, Korea, they are posting. I'll give an example. In Vietnam, they're paying very good teachers $28 an hour, okay, an hour. Very good teachers. If you have CFR level C1, IELTS score of 7.5, okay, you're paid $28 or $30 an hour. Okay, I don't know if that compares to Japan. Okay, I don't know the pricing of teaching in Japan, but that's that's the range. Okay, a very good teacher in, in, in Vietnam, in Hanoi in particular. Average salary in Hu Chi Minh is $18 an hour. Yeah, and they're engaged six hours in a day, two hours for study, okay, and accommodation is provided. In Cambodia, I think it's to give you, you know, an understanding of what's happening in these all around the world, at least in Asia or ASEAN region. In uh, Cambodia, we have content teachers there, okay, not purely these all. When you say content teacher, I finished science, my major is science or math. I'm teaching science and math in an international school in Cambodia. Of course, we use English in our class. And I have TESOL also. I can support my learners also in their English proficiency development. So I'm teaching math and English at the same time. Okay? You, you know, that makes you a super teacher. Okay? That makes you a super teacher. A very good teacher because you can support now your learners proficiency in English language. Okay? Uh, in Thailand, because we receive requests for teachers in Thailand, the average salary is 35,000 Thai baht. That's one, times 1.6 in pesos, so around 60,000 pesos per month. That doesn't match Japan, of course, but if you are in the Philippines, it's a double salary thing, right? So a lot of teachers are encouraged to go to Thailand. Yeah. Okay, so we. How are you learning? If you're still learning now, how are you learning? How are you improving? Here in, in in Tokyo, and we hope that we can help you know uh, teachers better themselves if they are already in the ALT, and we hope that we can help those who are not yet in the English field to transition or add. When you say transition, you will shift from your you know from your current job to ALT, or at least add ALT in there. Uh, engagements or job engagements, okay? Because I believe there are so many uh, Filipinos who are, you know, doing English part time. If you have these, maybe you can formalize that as your second job or maybe first job.